students, it's Miss Bowley here. Today I'm going to show you some tips for how to get a good uh, video of your Rube Goldberg machine. So obviously I did not build this Rube Goldberg machine. It's actually the game Mousetrap, but I'm just going to use it to show um, some different ways that you can get a good video. So there are two different ways that you could do your video. So the first way is where you are actually following the moving object throughout the machine. And this would probably work better if you use um, a device, like a handheld device that you can move around easily. Um, I think that one thing we want to try to do with this kind of shot is to avoid really shaky camera. Stability is super important for this type of um, this type of shot. So we would try to follow along uh, as as the object moves through, and uh, do our best to have the machine that is moving at the time in the camera frame. Okay. So one tip that I have is to maybe see if you can get someone at home to start your machine off for you and you are going to hold your device, whatever you're using to film. So for me, I'm gonna be using my phone and I'm holding it kind of close to my body so that my elbows can sort of stabilize my um, camera. And then I'm just going to look on my screen and see what is being filmed and just sort of move carefully around as the object moves through. So I'll show you an example of this type of shot right now. So if you're not able to use a handheld device to film, you could possibly do that type of moving shot if you use some sort of object, um, maybe even like a rolling chair and you can like place a laptop uh, onto it and then just move, move it as the object is moving, okay? So that's another option that you could do. So the second option for filming is one where I'm just going to place my recording device, my camera in one position and it's just going to film the entire machine. So one thing that you're gonna to wanna to think of for this one is where is a location that you can actually see the full machine? So I'm gonna to try to use um, a box. I'm going to place my laptop on top and I'm just going to try to adjust it to see if it will be able to film the full um, machine. If not, I can maybe try to prop it up with something underneath. Just be really careful um, because obviously you don't want your computer to fall off or get broken or anything like that. Here is a recap for option one with some considerations and tips. Pause here if you want to read in more detail. So I'm going to show an example of that right now. you could always have two different shots showing two different angles so that we get to see all of the really interesting and fun parts of your machine because the machine does doesn't take very long to run all the way through it's only a few seconds here's a recap for option two with some considerations and tips pause here to read in more detail um so some other tips Sometimes you may be all set up perfectly. You go to run your machine and it doesn't work. And that's okay. We just have to try again um, and, and keep going until it actually does work. Some other things we wanna think about when we're recording our video are, 
to try and have good lighting. So I came up from the basement today and I'm using um, my upstairs so that I can have some natural light and people will really be able to see my machine and what's going on. So if possible, try to have good lighting or natural lighting. Secondly, try if possible to not have too much distractions in your background. So I know I have a ton of stuff in the background, but when I was filming, I pointed the camera towards the machine so people won't be able to see all this stuff happening in the background. And other than that, just be patient, do your best, and um, your recording probably won't be perfect, but we just want to make sure that it really showcases all of your hard work and your classmates can see what's going on with your machine. And here is a recap of my general tips. Pause here if you want to read them in more detail. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.